drugs used in the treatment of bronchial asthma. Now, asthma is a chronic inflammatory disorder of the airways. Clinically, the symptoms that you observe are wheezing, breathlessness, chest tightness and cough. And physiologically, what we observe is a marked widespread reversible narrowing of the bronchial airways and marked increase in bronchial responsiveness. So there's bronchoconstriction with increased bronchial secretions and mucosal plugging. The increased bronchial responsiveness to certain trigger factors such as dust, allergens, cold air infection and certain drugs. So the basic underlying pathology under asthma is inflammation. So there is degranulation of the mast cells, release of stored inflammatory mediators and there is also increased production of the mediators of inflammation. So the drugs that will be used in the management of bronchial asthma, you can either suppress the production of the mediators of inflammation through glucocorticoids, you can have leukotriene receptor antagonists which antagonize the effects of leukotrienes on CCLT1 receptors. You can have reduction of mast cell degranulation. So reduction of mast cell degranulation will prevent the release of mediators of inflammation such as histamine which cause bronchospasm. Apart from that, the drugs that cause bronchodilation are antimuscarinic agents, sympathomimetic drugs and theophilins. Beta agonist or sympathomimetic drugs increase intracellular CMP levels which causes smooth muscle relaxation whereas theophilins prevent the degradation of intracellular CMP causing, uh, which can cause smooth muscle relaxation. Acetylcholine is a bronchoconstrictor so muscarinic antagonists or anticholinergic drugs basically antagonize the effect of acetylcholine and produce and reduce the bronchial tone. So they cause bronchodilation. So the drugs were either bronchodilators such as antimuscarinic, sympathomimetics and theophilins or they were suppressing the inflammation or the effect of the inflammation which were reduction of uh, mast cell degranulation leukotriene receptor antagonist and glucocorticoids. Coming to mast cell stabilizers. Now mast cell stabilizers block mast cell degranulation, stabilizing the cell and thereby preventing the release of histamine and related mediators such as chromalin and nedochromal. So when the asthma is antigen or exercise induced and there's increased bronchial reactivity due to antigen inhalation or it may be due to drugs such as aspirin or occupational asthma or allergic asthma in hay fever and rhinitis, occupational due to wood dust, soldering fluxes, all of these which cause inflammation thereby causing asthma, that is where we use mast cell stabilizers. So they do not reverse asthmatic bronchospasm. They do not, they are not causing bronchodilation, but they inhibit the early response to antigens and they prevent the release of the mediators of inflammation. They also inhibit the late response to the antigens. Coming to anticholinergic drugs. Now, anticholinergic drugs cause smooth muscle relaxation and reduction in the tone of vagus. Atropine drugs cause bronchodilation by blocking cholinergic constrictor tone. So anticholinergic drugs are basically bronchodilators. They relax the smooth muscles of the bronchioles. They are suited for regular prophylactic use combination with sympathomimetics. Examples being ipratropium and tiotropium bromide. Now ipratropium and tiotropium bromide are more the actions are largely confined to the respiratory tract and also they do not dry up the secretions unlike atropine and they do not inhibit mucociliary motility. So drugs such as ipratropium and tiotropium with an action of about 24 hours can be used for smooth muscle relaxation prophylactically in patients of asthma. Coming to sympathomimetic drugs. 
now sympathomimetic drugs cause activation of beta 2 receptors on the bronchial smooth muscle which causes activation of adrenal cyclase thereby increasing intracellular cmp there is increased cmp formation which causes smooth muscle relaxation and also decrease the release of mediators so the activation of beta 2 receptors causes increased cmp causing smooth muscle relaxation examples of these drugs are salbutamol terbutalin salmetrol and ephedrine salbutamol and terbutalin are fast acting drugs with a peak in about peak of action at about 10 minutes although their duration of action is shorter which is about 6 hours salmetrol on the other hand is a longer acting drug its peak effect is slower but the effect lasts for up to 12 hours which is why it is a drug of long term maintenance and for prevention of nocturnal asthmatic attacks drugs such as ephedrine norepinephrine and epinephrine although they are also bronchodilators are not preferred for the specific purpose of bronchodilation because of their many side effects coming to methyl xanthine such as theophylins and aminophylins now as i have told you sympathomimetic drugs increase intracellular cmp methyl xanthines also increase intracellular cmp by preventing the degradation by an enzyme called phosphodiesterase enzyme so there are phosphodiesterase enzymes which prevent the degradation of cmp now they result in increased intracellular cmp smooth muscle relaxation and cardiac stimulation inhibit the release of mediators of inflammation and also inhibition of adenosine cell surface receptors adenosine is also a bronchoconstrictor and causes release of histamine from lung cells so they inhibit adenosine cell surface receptors so methyl xanthines are pd inhibitors and adenosine receptor inhibitors coming to leukotriene antagonists this is the pathway of inflammation arachidonic acid is converted into its metabolites such as prostaglandins and leukotrienes through the action of cyclooxygenase and lipooxygenase which causes which mediates their effects leukotrienes such as c4 d4 and e4 act on leukotriene receptors cis lt1 receptors which cause bronchospasm increase in bronchial secretions and mucosal plugging therefore leukotriene leukotriene antagonists selectively and competitively antagonize leukotrienes so they block the effect of leukotrienes on leukotriene receptors examples of these drugs are montelukast and zafirlukast apart from that we also have drugs such as glucocorticoids which pre- which prevent the entire inflammatory pathway they prevent the production of uh, prostaglandins and cyclo uh, lycotrienes and leukotrienes and cytokines everything so they suppress the inflammation by the prevention of production of the mediators of inflammation and the release of histamine from stored granules so leukotriene antagonist selectively and competitively inhibit the actions of leukotriene such as c4d4 and e4 which causes bronchospasm increase in bronchial secretion and mucosal plugging with that we come to an end of the topic quick revision the drugs that we talked about which suppress and suppress inflammation with glucocorticoids reduction of uh, mediators of inflammation release muscle de granulation leukotriene receptor antagonist and drugs that cause bronchodilation such as antimuscarinics sympathomimetics and theophylins thank you so much for watching stay tuned for more